not just ask me about it later. So here we go. List variables. Everybody, you're looking up here. You're not going to learn it by looking someplace else. A list is a new type of variable that holds a list of things. So it can be a list of numbers, of strings, uh, or even a combination of things. It could have both things. It can have all kinds of things in it. So a list, we can define them using square brackets. And you can put things inside of the square brackets with commas. See right here, I made a list, AA. And I put 1, 3, 5, 2, 7 in there. So that creates a list called AA and puts five numbers into it. Uh, each item in the list has an index number. So the first item is index zero, the second item is index one, and so on. So it counts like normal counting, except it starts at zero. So if I say I want the first item in the list, you'd have to give me item zero. You have to think about that. So in this, if we had this list, animals equals square bracket, dog, cat, goat, horse, uh, Dog is at index zero, cat is at index one, and so on. Forever. Yep, for as big as it goes. And so I print animals square bracket one. I'm going to get cat. Hey, thank you. Come on in. So this is an example of a list that has strings in it. AJ, you got to be quiet. We're doing notes, and you're not even paying attention. So look up here, please. Here are some things you can do with lists. You can print them. If you just say print, then it prints it like this, puts little single quotes around each item if it's strings. Uh, you can get the length of a list. So I do L-E-N animals, and it prints the length of that list, which is four. Um, and you can, do a, you can print a particular item using the, the index value. Uh, and just like strings, we have methods we can use with lists. Um, so the one we use the most is append. That's how you add something to a list. So right here, B equals empty square brackets. That creates a list with nothing in it. So sometimes you got to do that to start out something like, okay, I'm going to create the empty list, and then you're going to decide what you want to add to it later. Um, Let's say you were doing some sort of game and you wanted to keep track of all the winners of the game, whoever won. You could start with an empty list because nobody's won yet. And then every time somebody wins, you could add their name to the list, for example. Uh, so here's b.append dog and b.append cat. Now, if I print this list, it's going to print dog cat like that. But then check it out. This method right here is called sort. And it sorts the list uh, alphabetically, or if it's numbers from lowest to highest. And uh, and then now that I print it after I sorted it, it prints cat and then dog. So the sort command uh, sorts it in place. So you don't print the sort command. If I ask you to print a sorted list, you have to sort the list and then print it. You can't, uh, you don't, you don't, you don't say print and then put the sort inside the print. Um, let's see, when you want to sort a list, I just said it, you put the sort all by itself. So here I'm saying, hey, we got a list, zebra, dog, cat. We print it, we get zebra, dog, cat. And then I sort the list, animals.sort. And then when I print now, it, it prints cat, dog, zebra. And you can't do this down here. You can't say print animals.sort. Mike Marwards, one of you today will betray me by trying that in today's program. So, um. I'll forgive you, but uh, you just have to sort and then print it. Don't try to print it and sort it at the same time. It's not a big deal. Like it won't, it'll print, I think it prints none if you do this. You print animals.sort and then it says none because there's nothing to print. Um, we have a count method with lists. That's uh, like the count method with strings. It tells you how, how many times something occurs in the list. So uh, if I had that list we were using before and I counted how many times dogs showed up, we'd get a one back because there was one dog in that list. Um, you can change what's in a spot on a list. Right here, B0 equals kitten, just replaces whatever it, whatever was it, spot zero with kitten. So instead of cat dog, now it's kitten dog. 
Um, lists can be numbers, strings, mixture of types, even other lists. You can put lists in lists, uh, which is kind of crazy, but totally doable. Um, don't name your list list. That's, uh, that's a reserved word in Python. You can call it list one, list two, or a list, or the list, or my list, but just don't use the word list because that's already, that's already Python. Um, we can use a list with a loop. So this, this creates an empty list before the loop starts. Pet names equals empty list. And then I said, while true, name equals input, please enter a pet name. And then it adds that name to the list. So this would just repeat forever as you entered pet names, Spot, Fido, Ralphie, Little Monster. And then they would all be, all those names would be getting added to the list. You're gonna have to do a loop like this in the, um, today's program, but you'll have this slide deck. Any questions? I'm just barreling through, but. Um... Okay, we're gonna do a practice. So everybody open up REPL and make a new REPL, call it day 12 list. And we're gonna do these things. And then I wanna see it on your screen before we go ahead and do uh, today's assignment. There's nothing like being told to do it. And you're like, oh yeah, yeah, this seems easy. And then wait a minute, what are we doing? I don't get it. So, um, by the way, it looks like on most of the computers, you're not being logged out automatically anymore. Um, you're generally, uh, in this lab, uh, you're generally safe because uh, you're the only class using this login, but I would log out just uh, for more security. You don't really wanna leave yourself logged in somewhere. Um, Cause I couldn't promise you that people in another class don't remember that the password to this login is code. So then, whoops. <laughs> um, Yes. I can't hear you. What? Uh, yeah, I have a moment right now. No, no, I want you to stay and do this program today. Yeah, stay here today. You have this to do today. If you finish this, then yeah, I don't mind at all. But um, let's get this one done.
So I'll walk you through it. Um, if you were stuck, I, I hope you were trying. You shouldn't just wait for me to do everything. Funny that I was still recording, but here we go. Uh, day 12, practice. Well, we'll call it lists. Cause, um, so I said, create a new Apple, name it day 12 list. Create a list with three friends' names. What's up? So then we're getting rid of this stuff. Hello. Wow. Something's wrong with my keyboard. It's not working. Yeah, but normally I do control A and I can select things. Oh yeah, that's not really there. That's why I can't select it. All right. So uh, names equals, and then put your friend's names. Scott, Mike, Pete, three friends of mine. Create a list with three friends' names. You use your friends' names, not my friends' names. That's crazy. You're not friends with my friend, Mike. I know he doesn't know any of you. He lives two hours from here. No, I know you don't know Mike. No, I'm, I know you don't know Mike. Let's just type your friends, please. We don't need to argue about it. I'm not telling you. Two hours. Yeah. Nah. Print the list. Go ahead. Print the list. Be brave. Well, here's a good here's good news about programming. If you did it wrong, it's just going to say you did it wrong. Like if you said print names, uh, well, let's do two things wrong. It's going to say, I don't know what print means. And you're like, oh, right. I have to do print. And then if you say that, then you're like, it says, I don't know what name is. Oh yeah. Did it says, do you mean names? Yeah, I did mean names. So it's no big deal. You're not going to hurt anybody if you make a little mistake. So here we go. Names equals Scott, Mike, Pete, print names. And then I asked you to print the first name using square bracket zero. You try that print names, square bracket zero. Print names, square bracket zero. That's not very hard. I know it's new. Mm. And it prints Scott, because that's the first name. And print the length of the list. And then we're going to sort the list and print it again. So length, it's just like the length command with strings. L-E-N, and then put the list name inside of it. Yep, so now you're going to print the length of the list. Oh, we print, so you have to print, you have to put print in front of that, right? If we're going to print that. Let's try it, let's try it. Bless you. Ah, it works. Oh, mm. oh. Yeah, so you're using a different command. So, um, here, can you just say no thanks? <laughs> won't bother you for the, sort of for the rest of your life. You're supposed to sort the dot sort at the end. Uh, oh, can you try that? Yeah. Um, I mean, what you did it is obviously works, but um, uh, to sort, you say, uh, well, I wanted you to print the link. Print. You got to use a print command. L E N names. That prints the link. I got three items. And then I wanted you to sort it names dot sort if you run it it's not going to print anything there because you didn't print it we just sorted it but then we're going to print it again and that is the list sorted and notice it's a little different scott was first now scott's last Why? well m comes before p in the alphabet and s comes after p so it just rearranged them completely completely whoa all right, I'm going to stop the recording.